We start with a new crackdown on illegal fireworks. They're already going off well ahead of July 4th. New at 6, as KPIX 5's Lemon Ramirez reports, San Jose is taking new steps to hold homeowners accountable for illegal fireworks. Len? That's right, San Jose came up with this ordinance because they don't want a repeat of last year when there was a literal explosion of illegal fireworks use during the COVID shutdown. And this Communications Hill neighborhood that we're on right now was one of the hot spots. And as you can see from uh, the surrounding hillsides, uh, everything is very dry now. And as we found out this afternoon, it doesn't take much to get a fire going. The house fire this afternoon on Windsor Park Drive was most likely not caused by any illegal fireworks, but it shows how quickly a fire can grow, endangering property and lives, including the firefighters. That's a big reason why San Jose just passed a strict new ordinance aimed at one of the most common yet preventable kinds of fires this time of year those caused by illegal fireworks. People already know it's illegal. People just don't care. Councilmember Raul Peral has helped craft the new ordinance which takes the guesswork out of who's responsible for shooting off illegal fireworks when traced to a home or house party. What the social host ordinance allows us to do is it actually allows us to issue a citation to that responsible party. So in that case, if it's at a house party, it'll be the owner of the house. The ordinance is in response to this. Last 4th of July, the San Jose Fire Department responded to so many spot fires caused by illegal fireworks that they couldn't keep up and had to ask neighboring departments to help cover the city. Our firefighters were stretched beyond their limit and we did need to reach out for mutual aid. Neighbors say every year it seems to get worse. And we're afraid if we hear these loud, I don't know, we're afraid they're going to land in our backyard. San Jose will have the new ordinance in place by July with fines starting at $1,000 for a first offense. Morales is concerned because he's already heard and seen illegal fireworks being shot off in his neighborhood, and it's still only May. Leading up to holidays like the 4th of July, we start to see a slow trickle of illegal fireworks usage. So that is happening. Now, under this ordinance, there does not have to be any property damage for someone to get a fine. But if there is property damage or a fire is caused, then the person uh, being held liable could also be held liable for the cost of the fighting of the fire. And that could be very hefty indeed. Reporting live in San Jose, Len Ramitas, KPIX 5.